Hi Daryl, Terhi here again. I'm playing with Pebbles. This is Family Collection, which is the newest line from Jane Hatfield. But I'm also using some other lines as well, as I have this brilliant idea of adding layers to flowers. Uh, I have always, well not always, but <laughs> For the last year or so, I have been really into fuzzy cutting, but I also love adding dimension to my layouts and um, I wanted to find a way to add dimension to flowers, to fuzzy cut flowers. And how to do, is, um, how to do it is that um, I'm fuzzy cutting similar flowers maybe two, maybe three, and with using 3D foam, I'm attaching a couple on top of each other. It doesn't matter if the flowers are or aren't uh, perfectly the same sized or cut the same way, it actually gives, it gives it much more nature if they are a bit different because then you can really see the layers. Uh, here I'm attaching three similar flowers, but they are not the same sized, and I also like to fold a bit the petals so that they are um, a little bit um, folded up, so you can again see the uh, layers much better. This is really tricky flower, but I think I can handle it. It will look better when the petals are not perfectly um, on the same spot. Uh, but anyway, you can add the biggest one first, then a bit smaller and the smallest on top, and that would look um, perfect as well. Uh, for this layout, I'm going to do quite many of these. I have here, here are the flowers except the rose are from This Is Family line, um, but I'm also using some of the older ones. That's because I want to have a really big selection of different kind of balloons. It, it seems like I'm really <laughs> thinking really much of this um, flower, but um, in the end I hope you will take a look to the close-up um, photos I have in the end of this video, so you can actually see how they look uh, in the end. Because I, I actually laughed to myself because I was thinking so much of this. Usually when I'm scrapbooking I just add, 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 add and think, um, not think at all. And here I was thinking really like five minutes how to attach these two flowers, but in the end it was okay. So now I have all those flowers ready to go and I have this uh, row of three photos. Um, and around it I will attach all my flowers. Um, I'm thinking about how to arrange all those flowers, but I'm not attaching anything yet as I have ideas for the background. But I want to have a um, kind of idea how to make this and um, what to add and where. And usually I take a photograph, sorry, a photograph for uh, with my camera to be used later to see what I really thought about. Or then I just let my ideas go further and maybe something will come up and maybe not. Uh, anyway, um, I thought to add something for the background and I wanted to make sure that I can add the photo to the same spot, so I added a little marks with a pencil and that will be behind the photo. So 
uh, they will not be visible. I'm using this leave uh, stamp from This Is Family Line and this lovely color of wheel from Wiki Putin. And um, I really love how these uh, inks are really shiny. Even this dark one, it's like dark gray, but with shimmering effect. So I really love it. Uh, I'm just stamping a couple of these, these images to the background so I can later maybe do something with them. But uh, anyway, to bring something nice to the background. And um, as I really love dimension, um, and especially for this layout, I decided to make my own paste and add it to a stencil. And um, I'm adding this gouache, <laughs> I, I'm not sure how to say it, but maybe gouache uh, paint. And I'm uh, adding just a small drop of this lovely paint. It's not as heavy as um, acrylic paint, but not, not as liquid as watercolor. It's something between. And um, as I'm going with the really heavy texture, I'm adding this lovely paste from uh, Vicky Putin. It has this lovely uh, flakes, mica flakes or some shimmering flake, flakes inside and I'm mixing these two. Uh, it, it first looked like this uh, paint is so um, strong that it's going to um, cover all the shiny effects from the paste, but when it's dry, it's cool. It's really cool because you can see the flakes and you can see everything shimmery, but it also has this lovely um, light green color. This uh, stencil is also from Vicky Putin and uh, I like these big flowers. They remind me of the flowers that I'm going to use later. The ones when I uh, thought a bit much. Anyway, uh, as soon as I had the stencil work dry and um, I attached all those flowers and the title What Makes You Smile um, bit of bit of ephemera and stuff like that. I'm going to mix my own watercolor and then I'm coloring in those leaves. Uh, this color is almost similar as the paste was, but um, maybe a bit lighter. Um, I'm really not uh, going to be too strict about if I stay between the lines or if I go outside the lines. Uh, the main thing is that there are some colors around here and there. I'm also going to splash around, um, add some drops of color everywhere, so it will be cool. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope I have inspired you to layer your flowers and um, make more dimension to your next layout. If you are inspired, let me know. I want to see it in Instagram, on Facebook, anywhere. Tag me and I want to see it. Um, thanks for watching and we will see you again. Bye!